What's going on peeps? It is the first morning I've woken up here and uh, wow, last night was freaking rough. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm just glad that the sun is finally out and it's finally warm because last night it was freezing cold, freezing cold. I couldn't stand it for much longer, so I did not sleep very well. I was just laying there in the freezing cold tent. The top of my tent was all covered in like frost because of how cold it was. I had to pee at like six o'clock in the morning. I kept just thinking, hold it, go back to sleep. You'll go in the morning when you wake up. Around seven in the morning, I couldn't hold it anymore. It was keeping me awake, so I had to get out and go pee. And seven o'clock in the morning was the coldest point. Well, my, my battery just died in the middle of me saying that, but my toes froze off basically. It was so cold. Now, sun's out, nice and warm. Still pretty tired. I think I would have said I would say I only got four hours sleep last night from seven o'clock until eleven o'clock. Not my greatest, not my greatest night's sleep ever. We just gotta turn that around by getting out there, doing some fishing and catching some fish. So got my French press coffee here. Nice and warm, not too hot. Um I'm under some shade right now in my tent. Got all the windows open and there's a nice breeze coming through. I did not sleep well last night, so still trying to wake up. If I'm waking up at 11, I mean, the fishing's not going to change much between now and when I actually end up getting out there. I'm just chilling, relaxing. It's interesting being out here alone, you know? A few people haven't gone out and done a solo camping trip, I recommend it. It's only my first day and you know, there's no real pressure to do anything. I probably won't start cooking for a while. I don't even know what I'm gonna cook. I just bought a bunch of Campbell's, uh, Chef Boyardee's, just real easy cooks, so. I don't know how good that is for breakfast, so might wait a little bit while longer till it's lunchtime and eat that. Gonna get my waders on soon and go explore. I just tried to go in barefoot and it was pretty dang cold. So, gotta get those waders on. Okay, I'm all weighted up, sun blocked up. I'm ready to get out there. First time fishing today, and uh, it's about 11.30, I guess, so I'm excited. Getting that nice cold water with these waders is gonna feel awesome in the sun. Gotta soak up all the heat as I can now because it's gonna be freaking cold tonight. So, let's get out there on the water and catch some fish. Fish on. There we go. Okay. We got another brown trout, it looks like. And, uh, yeah. Beautiful another brown trout. Let's see here. I'm standing in somewhat of a fast current. Get my hands nice and wet. Oh, oh, my fishing rod's about to fall off my shoulders. Yep, there it goes. I don't know if you heard that, but my rod is fully in the water now. But, worth it for that fish. And look at that hook set right in the corner of the mouth on that Copper John, just like yesterday. Beautiful, beautiful colors. I hope you can see that well enough. Wow. All right, let's take this hook out your mouth, buddy, and let you go. Oh. <laughs> Off he swims. All right, now I am all frickin' tangled up. Uh, okay, woo! Number one for today, number four of this trip. Oh, hey, didn't know I started filming yet. You know what, folks? It does not get too much better than this right now. I'm in a beautiful place with what seems to be unlimited fishing potential because the river is just so perfect for fly fishing. I mean, right now I'm probably only like 20, 30 yards from my campsite. I also think I must've gotten the best campsite in the whole place because I've been here before. I've seen what other kind of campsites there are and this one is definitely really, really nice. So right now I'm just walking to a spot a little bit 
further downstream just because it looks juicy and then I'm gonna go hit uh, go upstream after that so let's see if we can get some fish Oof. slippery freaking rocks people uh, if you buy waders buy felt bottom waders because they will be much better and much more useful when you're walking across these rocks and uh, I should probably put this camera away because I'll need two hands if I do catch a fish. Back to the chest cam. Just had a fish bite my fly two times in the same spot and miss it. See if he'll go for it a third time. Nope. Fish on. Okay, here we go. Another brown. Get our hands nice and wet. Look at that. Oh. Beautiful brown. Nice colors. Number two for today. Number five for the trip. Let's send them off. He has some fighting him. He is off. Cool. Oh, holy crap. That was the biggest fish I've ever had on the line for sure. Holy crap. And I freaking lost him. God damn it. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. Please come back for my left fly, dude. Holy shit. That was definitely the biggest fish I've ever had on the line. Oh, such an idiot. I mean, I don't know what I did wrong. I even strip set it but guess I didn't do it hard enough. That was crazy. The one that got away. Well, that was quite the battle there. Jesus Christ. Okay, another beautiful brown trout. A little bit bigger than the others. Let me get this hook out of its mouth. Yes, what a beautiful brown trout right there. Another beautiful one. This one's actually a little bit bigger than the others that I've caught, but on the same setup, the Copper John is really what they're biting on right now. I'm amped. I didn't expect to get another fish today. That's three each day. And look at that beauty. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Ah, cool. Cool. That was quite the fight. Uh, I'm up here on these higher rocks you can see my beer there i had my beer in one hand and the fly fishing rod in the other i'm up on these high rocks with some deep water it was hard for me to uh actually get the fish into the net but eventually we got it and that's number three for today so heck yeah let's see if we can get some more right here what's going on peeps it's getting towards the end 
of the night of my first night here. Oh man. And I've got some uh, chicken noodle soup going right now. But I guess I uh, have it turned up a little too high. Anyway, it's the end of the night. Caught three fish today, caught three fish yesterday. And uh, considering I caught those three fish in like an hour yesterday, I was probably fishing for probably like four hours today. But it's okay. I'd be good with catching three fish any day of the week. Any trout on a fly rod is good to me. And so I'm just amped to be out of town, camping and fishing. I mean, nothing beats that. So just gonna cook myself up some, some grub, relax for the rest of the evening and wake up tomorrow where I might be leaving. I don't know, haven't quite decided yet. Today, another chill day. Tonight, hopefully another chill night. Hopefully I get some more sleep tonight. Maybe this chicken noodle soup is exactly what I need in order to stay out here for a couple more days longer. Gonna grill this up, gonna eat it soon, and uh, have a good old night. So, yum, yum, yum. Catch you later. What's going on, peeps? My GoPro is so cold, the screen is like not counting numbers correctly. Hopefully it's filming correctly though. I had another bad sleepless night. So, I think I'm gonna pack up. I don't think I can deal with that again. It is so freaking cold at night that even with a hot water bottle on my chest, blankets wrapped all around my, my feet, in the sleeping bag, with my jacket, a sweatshirt under my jacket, two pairs of pants. I was just shivering. Unfortunately, I'm gonna go start packing up. I'm gonna get some of my, oh, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. I'm gonna get my stuff all packed up, or at least mostly packed up, which is gonna take a long time. And then I'm gonna leave my fishing rod out till last. I'm gonna pack that last, because after I'm done packing, I'm gonna get out and do some fishing. And then I'm gonna get on the road and head home. Hopefully it's not too long of a drive. I really enjoyed it here at East Walker River. It's a beautiful river. It's a beautiful campsite. It's not quite in the mountains, but it's still up in elevation. You got the view of the mountains. Great stream for fly fishing. Whew. This has been a brutal trip alone. It's so cold. Okay, I'm gonna start packing up. Pretty much got my whole campsite packed up. Got the big tent gone. Got the stove put away. Everything except for my fishing rod and this tent. This tent is a two person put away job. I mean, I've seen videos of people doing it one person, but most of the time it's a two person job. And so I thought I would make a time lapse of me trying to put it away inevitably messing it up and getting frustrated. So enjoy that time lapse. Enjoy the anger in my eyes. I hope it's not as hard as it looks because I am sweating after putting away all that other stuff. About to be noon now. The smoke is coming over the hills. So once I get this put away, I'm gonna fish for just a little bit of time. And then I unfortunately have to get out of here. Enjoy the time lapse and hopefully enjoy me catching some more fish. While I was just trying to get my fly line out, I got a bite, lost it because I wasn't paying attention. I was just trying to shake my fly line out of my rod. Oh God. Oh God. Wow. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. Did you see that? Friends, honestly, I could cry right now. I just hooked onto the biggest fish I have ever hooked onto. Even beats the one that I hooked onto the other day. And I was fighting it for 20 seconds maybe, and then it snapped my line and took my flies with it. Seriously, I feel like I'm about to cry. That was an amazing fish. It bit onto my nymph fly and I hooked it really well. I was fighting it very well in the stream, but this is a fast moving stream. 
and it just got the right amount of power to snap my line off. I wasn't using the right type of leader for a fish that size, honestly. I mean, the smoke is getting so close to me, I can't stay, even though I feel insane for leaving after that bite. I will have nightmares about that. I will always see that fish until I get one about that size. I will always see that fish biting onto my line and snapping it off. I don't even know what to say. There are some big trout here in East Walker River right now. Some huge trout here in East Walker River right now. <sighs> if you make your way out here, I highly recommend getting some strong leader because the little fish don't seem to be too picky and the big fish fight hard. I'm leaving, I'm heading home. Thank you very much for watching this East Walker video. Uh, I had a lot of fun here. It was a very nice getting away and having a solo camping trip, even though I didn't hardly sleep for two days. It's time to pack up and head home. So thank you very much. I will catch you next time out here on the water. Peace.